Hi everybody, it's Tiffany from Terra Loco and we are going to talk one of my favorite topics. Um, we're going to talk about socks today. Um, I want to start with some of our staff favorites and then we'll talk about um, some of the styles that um, are probably the most uh, popular at the store that we sell the most here. So. Um, let's talk firstly though about why socks are important. Um, let's just say you have a pair of shoes that is working really well for you, but you are maybe having a blister or a hot spot or something is, you know, isn't quite right. Um, your socks can make a huge difference um, when it comes to the way the shoe feels, the way it fits, preventing blisters and helping everything just feel comfortable when you're running. Um, the reason why um, you want to avoid cotton. So you don't want to be in a cotton sock. So if, if you're wearing a cotton sock when you're running and you're experiencing blisters um, or, you know, kind of, you know, rubbing in weird spots that are creating issues, um, throw those socks away, only use them for um, non-active things. Um, and then you're going to want to replace those socks with something that is either a poly nylon blend um, or a wool blend. Or, you know, sometimes you're looking for things that say like dry fit, dry max, um, one of those kind of, you know, uh, synthetic fibers. And the reason why you want that over cotton is cotton absorbs moisture um, and so your feet sweat that moisture goes right into the cotton fibers and it just stays there and it stays right next to your skin that moisture plus friction so um, your cotton fibers and your socks are going to create a little bit more friction as well too moisture plus friction equals blisters so that's why you want to avoid a cotton sock um, a nylon poly nylon um, sock is going to be slipperier um, now also within your shoe as well too so that's where I'm seeing it could it could affect the uh, the fit of the shoe as well too so that's just something to kind of keep in mind um, but uh, it also takes that moisture that from the sweat on your feet takes it to the outside of that fabric and allows it to evaporate um, wool is another really good option um, because because it does all that naturally. Um, some people can't um, tolerate wool, so you know, obviously, you're not going to want to do that if if um, if you know wool bothers you. Um, but smart wool is another really great option, and especially for trail running, if you are going through um, puddles and you know rivers and you know whatever else, your feet are getting wet when you're running. Um, wool is a really good option for that because um, it dries really quickly and it'll help that um, moisture and wetness from you know the puddle you just ran through evaporate and get get, get a go away um, a lot quicker therefore your feet are going to feel drier faster and um, you're going to be able to get through that long run um, on the trails with no problem so um so that's why socks are important. Um, you know, shoes are obviously number one when it comes to running um, and walking. And um, socks is usually kind of the second thing that we talk about. Um, so it can make a really big difference and it's really important to have a good pair of socks. So like I said, we're gonna start with some of our staff favorites. So you can kind of see what um, some of the people here really like. And then um, I'll show you some other options as well too. So personally for me, and now I know this is not for everybody, but personally for me, I only wear the Injinji toe socks. Um, so I'm going to show you what did I do with them? Oh, here there. Okay. So I only wear these. Um, I started wearing the Injinji toe socks um, probably about six, seven years ago. And I literally only wear these, um, not just for running, but for every day. And, and I'll tell you why. Now, a lot of people find that, you know, like, oh, I don't want something weird between my toes. Isn't that going to bother you? Um, you know, and, 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 you know, of course, some people, maybe it might still bother you. But almost every single person that I have put into these socks um, has come back and said, I love them. They're great. They fix my issues. I need more. So, you know, don't let this scare you. Um, it, I, it, it, it is better for most people. Um, the reason that I switched to a toe sock, though, originally is I have a bunion and my big toe was kind of making its way over and sort of crossing over and pinching on my second toe. And what that was creating was a, a blister and a, um, a pinched nerve on that second toe. Um, and I was getting all this rubbing in between my toes. So I decided, let's try this. Um, 
took care of the rubbing in between my toes. It also helps separate my big toe from my um, second toe just a little bit more so then I, it's not crossing quite as much as it was um, before. And so they actually helped my issues. Um, the other kind of important thing to note about the toe socks is just like a glove versus a mitten. Um, when you wear a glove, you know, your fingers are separated and you might be a little bit chillier than if you wear a mitten where your fingers are together and then you have the heat from your hand, from all of your, all of your individual fingers, all within that one pocket. So take that same concept, apply it to socks. Um, same same idea applies. Um, when you have a, when I wear a sock, like a regular sock, my feet feel hotter, I, I feel like I'm sweating more, um, I'm just not as, as comfortable. Um, when I wear the toe socks, my feet feel drier, um, they feel cooler, and um, I you know really attribute that to the, um, the separation between the toes. So um, those are the Injinji toe socks, and we have um, two different heights. So this is the um, Mini Crew, which I like, and then we also have it in No Show, which is also a great option. Um, kind of, I kind of prefer the Mini Crew uh, myself personally, but um, we'll have different weight levels as well too. So there's going to be a lightweight, and then there's going to be a um, original weight as well as a mid weight, which is the heaviest option. And they also come in trade Trail options that are going to be tall um, like a crew sock and those are going to be made out of um, a wool material um, that uh, is really great so actually I have a pair of um, them on now I wore those um, wool tall socks all winter long um, and they're great for layering as well too um, so those are my personal favorite socks um, like I said only thing I wear um, I I can't even stand putting on regular socks anymore because my feet just feel cramped and all smushed into you know that pocket so um, but obviously not for everybody and there are plenty of other options right so my favorite sock um, in Jinji toe socks I'm gonna show you next the favorite sock of Mallory, my sister, who you've seen here um, on a couple of videos, and her favorite sock is the Belega Ultra Light Sock. Um, Belega is a great brand. Um, what we like about the Ultra Light Sock is you have a little bit of um, extra padding, you know, on the bottom here, um, a little more in the heel, which is great, a little more right underneath the toes, which is also great, but on top, you have a very light, very um, mesh top here that's going to allow a lot of moisture and a lot of breathability as well too. You also notice that you have the targeted compression um, around the arch, and so that is a gives you a nice snug fit. Um, and also notice that they are left and right specific. So um, that's important to make sure you put them on the right foot because that targeted compression for the arch is going to end up on the wrong side if you have the wrong wrong sock on. But um, this is one of our more popular socks from Belega. Um, the reason why, like I said, is that you get a little bit of padding, but overall it's a pretty light sock. It's not going to take up a lot of uh, space in your shoe. Um, and this is one that, um, like I said, is Mallory's favorite sock um, that she likes to wear. Um, Belega socks, just as an FYI, do run a little different in terms of the sizing. So if you're interested in trying Belega, you'll want to make sure that we double check the size for you because, like for example, in feature socks or in smart wool, a size small is only going to go to like a six and then most women are going to be in, um, in a medium. But in Belega, the small is six to eight. So um, again, a, a lot of women are gonna be in the small in Belega where they would maybe be in the medium in features. But if you call to order anything, we will definitely take a look at your size, make sure we get you in the right size. Lots of different color options in this, lots of different size options in this. Um, I believe we only have it in the um, no-show right now. Um, so that is one of uh, Mallory's, like I said, favorite socks. Um, and Belega is a great brand um, that we've been carrying for several years now, and they have a lot of different options within their line. Um, so the Ultralight 
um, isn't quite the thinnest option, but it is pretty thin. Um, next in Belega, we'll just show you a couple other options that they have there. Um, we have the Enduro option in Belega, both in the low cut for women and the quarter here. Um, that would be unisex. This one is going to have more cushion on the bottom, still has that target and compression, but not quite as tight as the um, ultralight. And again, more cushion um, on this one one as well. And Belega, we also have the silver. So again, these are going to be um, no-show. These are great because, again, it's a little on the thicker side, so there is more cushion here um, on the bottom. But these little silver threads that you see here on the bottom of the sock, the silver is um, a anti-, anti antimicrobial um, material. So it's going to help with keeping your feet, um, you know, moisture free and um, stink free. But the little channels that are created here in the silver also allows a little bit more um, air movement underneath the foot as well too. So again, it's just going to help keep your feet a little bit cooler as well too. So this is the silver um, in Belega. We have this in a couple of color options too. All right, and lastly in Belega, um, we have the Hidden Comfort. This is the thickest option in Belega, and probably one of the thickest options that we have across the brands. Um, the reason you might want to go with this one over some of the other ones that I showed you, these ones do not have that target and compression. They're not left and right specific. So if you don't like a tight-fitting sock, if you like your feet to feel like they can wiggle around and, and you don't want something that's going to be real snug on your foot, this is definitely the way that I would go um, in Belega. As I said, though, it is pretty thick. You have a lot of cushion um, under, under the foot, but again, it's a little bit thinner um, over the top, so it's not going to be so bulky and, um, and not too hot for you. So those are the options in Belega that I wanted to show you. Now, one of our most popular brands is Features. And I'm gonna show you some options from Features right now. Um, now there's two, two types of feature stocks, so uh, make sure that if you order something that you um, know which one it is that you're getting or, or what you have at home already. So you have Features Elite, and then you have features high performance. Um, the difference between the Elite and the high performance, the Elite has the targeted compression and they are left and right specific. Whereas you do not have the targeted compression here and you also do not have the left and right specific. So think of this as sort of a, a lower end sock, not as many features as the, no pun intended, um, as the elite version of the feature sock. Um, again, if you don't like something super tight, um, this would be a good option in features to go with the um, high performance. Um, high performance is going to come in um, an ultra light cushion and a light cushion. So again, it's just a matter of difference in thickness, um, cushion in the sock. So I'm not sure how well this is going to work, but here's the, um, the heel and the, um, the ultra light, um, high performance. And here's the heel in the, um, uh, cushion option here and the high performance. So I think you can see, yeah, I think you can see the difference. I mean, this is pretty thin, sorry, and that's pretty thick. So um, ultra light, light cushion in your features, in your high performance, um, no targeted compression, not left and right specific. These are a little bit less expensive because of that, $12.95 on these. Several colors, sizes available in that too. Now, in your Elite sock, um, as I said, you have the targeted compression, you have the left and right specific. Um, these are our most popular socks. This is definitely the one that we sell the most. Um, you have your left and right specific there. You have, you know, seamless toe, um, 
the tabs on the back are going to help keep it from slipping down into your shoe. Um, that's a, definitely a complaint that we get a lot from people. But as long as you have um, a nice fitting sock that has this tab on the back, it should stay up. You shouldn't have to go to a, um, a taller sock in order to keep that from happening. Um, so features elite. Um, left and right specific, tar targeted compression. Um, in these, there are also different weights as well. So you have ultralight, which is what this one is here. Um, again, quite thin um, in terms of the amount of cushion on the bottom here. Um, ultralight, then you're going to have a light cushion, so a little bit more cushion on the heel, on the bottom here. And then there's also a max cushion as well. Um, the max is probably too thick for most people this time of year. Um, I'd say most people go with the ultralight or the light in the features elite. Um, also comes in several different color options, different sizes as well. You can see these are a little more expensive, $15.95 versus $12.95 on the high performance. But like I said, this is our best selling sock. Um, one thing that I keep forgetting to mention, it's been in my brain here for a little bit and I keep forgetting to say, um, we always do buy three, get one free on all of our running socks. Um, and so that is still going on right now. And um, you can mix and match the different brands. Right now we'll even do that with um, Smartwool too. So um, if you wanna try a couple of different types of socks, now is a good time to do that. All right, so those are the um, features. Elite, again, coming in ultralight, light, and max cushion. Um, in features, we do have some uh, merino wool options as well. So there are some options in features that have that merino wool. Um, and lastly, um, let's talk about smart wool um, because we do have a pretty large selection of smart wool socks. Um, I would say the majority of people that are getting a smart wool sock are going with the PHD run sock. Um, and those are available again in two different weights. Um, you have your ultra light and light cushion. Ultra light, very thin, um, hardly anything, anything to it at all. Um, just essentially a protection, you know, layer between your foot and the um, shoe. Whereas on your light cushion, you definitely are going to have some um, loft in the, the heel for sure and along the bottom of the sock. Um, the PHD socks will come in this one here is low cut is what it's called so it's not a no-show it's going to come up just a little bit higher um, but it is not um, it's it's not you know a quarter or anything so this is the low cut um, then you have a no-show option we did get a couple of really fun new um, colors from um, smart will recently we also have all of we also have hike socks outdoor socks and lifestyle socks um, if you go back and look at our Instagram or our Facebook page from Tuesday um, I did post a short video clip of our smart wool sock selection and so you could also take a look at that video and sort of see what kind of options we have there from smart wool um, Smartwool is also going to have that targeted compression, but they are not left and right specific. Um, and then finally, I wanted to show you um, also in Smartwool, we are going to have um, some run socks in the crew length. So one that's going to be, you know, quite a bit higher as well as a um, mini crew or mid crew. Um, now this particular one, this is through the cold weather. So these ones are a lot thicker um, and designed to help keep your feet warm. But if you are somebody whose toes are always cold and you're always um, uh, feeling, feeling like you need warmer socks, then maybe this is the best option for you. So all right, that is our um, brief overview of socks today. And thank you guys so much for, for watching. And if you wanna order anything that you saw here today, just give us a call or um, send us a message on Facebook or on Instagram. Um, and we'd be happy to help you out. Again, remember, 
buy three, get one free on all the socks. You can mix and match different brands. Um, we do also carry some stance socks, which I didn't show you today. Um, we don't have a whole lot of selection in those right this second, so I didn't want to um, get you too excited about something that maybe we didn't have in your size. So um, there are a couple other options as well that I did not show you today, but um, all the socks, like I said, buy three, get one free, and that is something that we do all the time. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I have to get to a virtual fitting here in a couple of minutes, which is something that we're um, new that we're doing. And and it's a great way to just see stuff in the store. Um, you can do that also. It doesn't have to be just for shoes. If you want to do it for socks or apparel, you can certainly do that. So just schedule a virtual um, fitting with us. And even though we're not going to be actually fitting shoes for you, um, essentially, I just we do a Zoom call. I can take you around the store, turn the camera around, show you all the color options, and essentially just sort of be your personal shopper. So um, let us know if you, if you have any questions and um, give us a call and we are happy to help you out um, right now. So thanks guys for watching and have a great Friday and a fabulous weekend.